fucking unfair. Like, why the f do I have to go through this? And he's just fine. Like, that's not fucking fair. <laughs> he gets to go about his life. Have his home, have his cars, have his financial stability, and I'm over here f***ing struggling. 17 and a half years married, four kids. I begged this man, begged this man, please, Ken, I've never been out of the U.S. Can we please go out of the U.S.? Can we, I want to experience something new. Uh, can we travel? Can we do something? No, no. I get a text from him five minutes ago. What does it say? Hey, I need your permission. It's in the planning, but me and Aaron, his fiance, are taking her kids and want to, he wants to take Kylie to Mexico for spring break. <laughs> and I said, because um, he needs my permission to do that. And I said, absolutely, it's a great experience for her. Just please watch her, um, have fun and be safe. It's really, really hard for me because it's like 17 and a half years, four kids, and I begged you, I begged you to take us or to take me and to do those kinds of trips and, and to spend that kind of time with us. And it was always no. And now you're giving this woman everything that I begged you for. Everything I begged you for, you were giving to her. People do that because they want to feel heard. And they want to know that they're validated for feeling the way that they're feeling that it's not right and it isn't okay. And it confirms my choice to divorce was right. Even though I'm the one that was shamed and I'm the one that lost friends of 15 years because they didn't want to be associated with me anymore because I walked away. These modern women never cease to amaze me. You want him gone because you believe your life is miserable with him and you are unhappy in the marriage just because you have Chad making you happy. At work, when you are picking up your kids at school or at the grocery store and now he is gone and he is happy, now you are angry, jealous, and want him back. A lot of these women are poor thinkers and poor decision makers. I think they should not be allowed to even raise a child, just think about it. If this man you divorced is now happy and doing well, don't you ever think that the same way you felt miserable with him is the same way he felt miserable with you? The fact that he is happy does not necessarily mean he has changed, but that that woman is different from you. She does not nag. She does not make him feel less and insufficient. She listens to him and he in turn feels like a man again. He feels respected, honored, and this change has enabled to take up his responsibilities up properly again, knowing he's appreciated for his effort. This is what these modern women really look like to me. Here is an analogy. You have a car that you do not take care of. You do not clean it. You do not change the oil. You leave the tires worn out. You literally leave it in a bad condition. And in turn, the car breaks down every now and then. Now, after complaining so much about the car and you then decide to sell it for cheap and you added some extra money to get a seemingly better looking one. And after a year or more, you see these car you sold for cheap with a better owner. It is in good condition. It gets its servicing done regularly. It is always in clean condition, and now you want it back, but it is now extremely expensive. And more reason why you want it back is because the car you got in place of it was nothing you expected it to be. It was just packaged and sold for you since you were desperate and needed saving, and while you are still a poor manager and owner. This is how many of the divorced women are, yet they put all the blame on the man, failing to see that they were poor and irresponsible wives, and they are failing to work on their marriage and do what it takes to fix it. These women made their ex-husband look like the devil just because he was not meeting their needs, and none of their friends got to tell them that they are just a self-centered and entitled bitch, and they only care about what their partner does for them, and not if he's happy and needs something in return. So much for women supporting women. These women are unappreciative and have treated all that the man has done for them as shit, and she tells him every day he is not sufficient. There is a saying in Africa that says never bite the hand that feeds you. I have seen men that stay at the bar not because they like it but because they do not want to go home. Some even stay back in the office. I had a guy that was working for me at some time. This guy said he literally spends about 30 minutes in his driveway preparing to face another stress and excessive nagging.
he is now divorced anyways. In a men's hangout, a guy shared his story with me. It was this occurrence in his life that made him more masculine and started working on his finances, and he is doing really well now. So, his story went that his ex-wife divorced him for her work, husband, who happens to be her supervisor. This actually got out after the whole divorce thing. This guy and his wife married early, and they were both not doing so well financially at the time. But there was love, right? So this guy had a job offer and for two reasons decided his ex-wife should take the job. They were both college graduates but his wife had a better qualification for the job than him, and also because he was working with a startup company which eventually failed later after that time. So he decided his wife should go for the interview instead, and she got the job and to cut the long story short. Fast forward to nine months, she started doing less work at home as he was working remotely, and she also started coming later than her usual close time, and she started refusing him sex frequently. Now this guy starts questioning her about what is wrong but she will not have it with him. She starts yelling back at him, and now she comes back home, comparing him with men, having real jobs, and taking proper care of their family. At this time, the startup company had packed up and stopped paying him, and he has gone back to freelancing at the time, which was relatively earning less. Now this guy being a nice guy stopped asking her questions and stopped arguing with her, and sometimes she calls him and says she will be working overnight. He doesn't complain anymore, and so often times he tries to help her because he thought her job is too exhausting, and he even offers to take her on dates but it was not working. Then after a year of trying to fix what was wrong, she came home and asked for divorce. Well, he broke down and was very interested in making the marriage work, but she still wanted it anyways. And since he did not have much to lose, he gave in and went on his own. So fast forward to four and a half years later, while he has gotten a good job with another established company, and he also has migrated to the US, and it was at this time, he somehow found out that she divorced him because she wanted to shamelessly and guiltlessly have an affair with her work husband, and he even got to know she was on family planning, so she would not conceive at the time she was with him. But unfortunately for her, her work husband did not go ahead with his promise to settle down with her, and he actually broke up with her and she had to settle for another job, and now she wants him back, and obviously that is as impossible as a woman reducing her body count. These women need therapy, and pre-marriage classes, and most of all, they need to stop thinking that their marriage revolves around them. These are the women that have made marriages ugly for younger men. As I always like to say, you cannot eat your cake and have it. Please let these men go and find the peace they deserve. What do you think about that? That's all for today on Latest Juice. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like my previous videos. Don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it. Thanks for watching.